All right, this next video um, for our second layout is going to be for the two fins and the airfoil right here in our air glider. Right now, the uh, first video covered how to lay out the uh, air glider body, so now we're going to move on and cover the other fins. First thing I'm going to do from the top of my air glider is I'm going to measure up a half inch and put a tick mark on the left side. And I'm going to go to the right side, measure up half an inch, put a horizontal tick mark and get a horizontal line going across my paper so that way I can begin to draw out the fins and the airfoil. So I put my zero on that line, measure up a half inch, put a tick mark, go down to the other side, measure a half inch and put a tick mark as well. Take my ruler, line it up with both tick marks, and draw a line all the way across the paper. Now, this area right here in the center between the air body and the air glider body and what our fins are going to be, this is scrap right here. I just go ahead and scratch that out. So you have your air body, then you have the bottom of your fins and your uh, your foil. Up next, we're going to create the top line right here. So I'm going to measure up. So on this side, I'm going to measure up three inches, put a horizontal tick mark, then go to this side, measure up three inches. Put my zero on the line I just drew. Put a tick mark at three there, then come over here. Put a tick mark at three inches as well. Turn the ruler. Line it up with both tick marks and draw a line across your paper. All right, if you get a little bad corner right there, that's fine. It's not going to affect too much of, of what we're doing here. All right, so it's not a big deal if you, if you lose a corner there. Um, now, next thing I want to do is start on my fin, which is right here. Okay, we need to create a square by adding a vertical line. Okay. So I'm going to measure over three inches. So right down here at the bottom, I'm going to measure this direction three inches, put a tick mark, and I'm going to go to the top, measure over, put a tick mark right there. Line the zero up with the left edge, vertical tick mark there, go to the top, and a vertical tick mark here. Turn the ruler and draw a vertical line. I'm also going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to measure to the left three inches and to the left three inches. Down here at the bottom, measure over three inches. Tick mark, go to the top. Measure over three inches, turn my ruler, and draw a vertical line. Okay, so I have my two squares for the fins that I'm going to lay out. Next thing I'm going to do is find my marking points for my diagonal line that cuts across the square. This line is three inches up, or sorry, a half inch up, and I'm a half inch over right there. So at the top, I'm going to measure over from the left edge on this top line, measure over a half inch, put a little tick mark there. Then on this vertical line, from the bottom, I'm going to measure up half an inch. Put a tick mark. Now that I have two, my two tick marks, I'm going to lay the ruler diagonal. and connect those two tick marks there and there this will be scrap that we will cut off this will be the bottom of your fin 
for when you start laying it out. And this will be the back of the fin right there. So I have my first fin. Now I want to lay out the second fin. This time, I'm going to measure up half an inch, put a tick mark. And then I'm going to measure over half an inch and put a tick mark. So I start with the vertical line. I'm going to measure up half an inch, put a tick mark. And then make sure that you measure from the left edge of the folder. If you have a little cutout right there, measure from this left edge over half an inch. And then turn your ruler and connect these two points right here. And that is your fin. This is scrap. This is the bottom. This is the back. All right, now that we have both fins laid out, we need to create the airfoil in the middle. We're going to start with these dashed lines right here and right there. Then we'll build the diagonal lines afterwards. So from your left edge of your folder right here, left edge of the folder, we're going to measure over and then we'll make a tick mark. Then we'll go down to the bottom, measure over, make a tick mark. From the left edge, we want to measure over four inches. All right, so I'm going to start at the top, take my zero, put it on the left edge, measure over four inches, put a vertical tick mark. Go down to the bottom, and I'm going to measure over four inches as well, put a vertical tick mark. Okay, then I'm going to take, turn my ruler, and I'm going to draw a dashed vertical line because it will be a fold line. So with those two tick marks, I will draw a dash line. So I have my dash line here. Now I need to create my second dash line over here. From this tick mark right here, so my first dash line to this dash line, I'm going to measure over three inches. Okay, so at the bottom, of my dashed line right here, I'm going to measure over three inches, put a tick mark right there. Then I'm going to go to the top, put a tick mark right there, turn my ruler, and draw a dashed vertical line. All right, so I have my two dashed lines. The next thing I'm going to do is create the diagonal line. Now, for this one, we're going to be using an eighth inch measurement at the top and then a three eighths measurement down here at the bottom. Okay, so if you're having trouble with the ruler, make sure you ask. Okay, I like to kind of get away. So if you read a ruler, it has a lot of little marks in here. Some of them go in 64, some of them go in, in uh, 30 seconds. Okay, so I like to slide over to where I know it's in sixteenths right here. And your eighth mark, if you look at it, so if you're looking at your ruler, your eighth mark is right here. It's the second mark. All right, that's your eighth mark. So from where mine starts in sixteenths, I go from four, it's one, two, sixteenths, which is an eighth. All right, so I'm going to put that at the top. The top is an eight, so I put a tick mark there. That is an eight right there. Then down at the bottom is three eighths. All right, so I'm going to start. I'm starting at five, and I'm going to count three eighths over from my dashed line. So I'm going to the left. One, two, three. There's three eighths. Okay, so it's three eighths down at the bottom. Take the ruler. and connect those diagonally. Then do the same thing to the other side. Three eighths down at the bottom. One, two, three. 
and eight at the top. Right there. Then turn your ruler and connect it diagonally. And that is your airfoil. Again, it's an eight and three eighths. All this will be scrapped right there. And then this will be scrapped right there. That concludes the layout for your, uh, your parts to your airfoil. I'll have another video on how to cut out and score your uh, dash lines.